Queen Latifah. Dating someone of a different race. And it's causing their families to turn on them. If you ever date a white guy, I swear I will not talk to you. I want to see you with Jay. Well, you're going to have to see me with him because I'm not leaving him. This is what I choose. Why can't you just accept it? Queen Latifah tries to help them find compromise and acceptance. Are you going to teach your child like your parents taught you? Don't look at me like I'm crazy. This is your family. <laughs> Next on Queen Latifah. be able to date anyone they want. So why are people giving them so much grief? Because our guests today are all dating outside of their race. Generally, it's the parents who object to their kids dating outside their race, but not with our first guest. Meet Judy and her daughter, Diamond. Judy says she only wants to date white guys, but Diamond says she will move out if her mom dates another white man. Judy, your daughter's upset because you have interracial relationships. Why do you think that that's the case? She just is very opinionated about white people, and she just doesn't like them. And when I bring them around her, she acts really ugly. And so, I mean, it's really a problem. But it's not all white people. So you make it seem like I don't like white people at all. It's not all white people. The men that you seem to get involved with have no brain or something. Yes, They're just, like, <laughs> stupid. And, and they have no respect, and that just bothers me. If you say that... You know, black guys have such a bad attitude and whatever and don't treat women right. Well, the guys that you bring into my brother's life, that's just not right because they don't treat people right either. I don't personally, you know, like being called a black B word. I mean, I don't know if well, you do, but, Yeah, you know. well, what is that about? Now, well, you... there was a situation where I was um, entertaining my boyfriend at the time and Diamond wanted to go shopping. And I told her she could go shopping with me in an hour after um, my boyfriend was gone. But I was and she didn't accept that. House. She didn't want to no, do that. I, she she wanted told to, me. you know, say bad things. He even wanted to, he even gave her, like, wanted to give her $20. But I didn't she, want she his was money. Driving. I didn't want his money. She That's was, not the point. She, she was 16 and driving her own car. She, he, she could have taken the money and said, thank you. But, that's but she point. got really ugly with me, acting really disrespectful to me, saying that I should stop my world and do what, exactly what she tells me to do. And I'm it not like that. I'm a parent. And when I make decisions, she needs to accept them as a child. I had asked you, if you want to bring up that situation, well, I had asked you, okay, many hours before that, if we could go shopping. And you tend to put it off and put it off and procrastinate. And at that point, you knew I was leaving. You knew I needed the stuff from the store, and you knew that. And you still continue to sit up in this guy's face like it was just patient hella cute. Hurt you, and you could have been patient and wait. I would have gone. So, with mom, you. we were leaving, so, and you knew this. And then the, well, the point is that he, she, he got really upset at how she was talking to me and stepped in, which was wrong for him to do because exactly. he really wasn't. And then, and then, what did he say? It is, what he, happened? He told her to stop talking to me like that. It, mm -hmm. it escalated, no, escalated. He, he called I me a I started crying. They, she went outside oh, to leave, and he went out to leave as well and called her name. That yeah, I was. And he even tried to hit me, and Don Maurice pushed him back there. there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Did. <laughs> did he call her that name? Yes. I did not hear you, that. Did you, she your didn't daughter tell me until after he was gone. and um, Because we weren't even talking. Wait, wait, you wait, actually kicked me. After he was gone from the house that day or after he was gone, period? They were in the front yard. Did she, she tell you that, that, she had said that, that she, he had said that to her? Right. Did you believe her? Yes, of course I believe Did her. you continue to date him? Yes. Yes, she did. Continue. She kicked me out the house, okay? Took my key away, had me move. I actually was homeless for two weeks. I was living with my friend that I was leaving with over a white guy. Please, that no, you do not treat your children no. like that. It was you over do her not, attitude. I don't, I don't, you, you do not treat no. your children like that. You do not kick them out over a white guy. And so because That's, of the situation. So is it, is it, is it all the conflict? Is it all about him being a white guy? This yes, is, yes, it, yes no. it is because what is what does it have There's to do with him being a white guy? She wants to use any scapegoat she can to not look within it herself and, and correct with, herself. It has nothing to do with scapegoats. Uh, the guy no. that you have brought into into.
to my brother's life. He told me about laying around doing nothing. What kind of man does that? Having you pay his bills? Oh, no, man, no, you do not do that. This is not the situation. You do not do that. The man had a lung condition. I don't he got care. very sick. He actually died from it. Let me ask it. you a question. Were you married to this guy? No. We no. were engaged. But he got, he got very sick right after we started going you, together. Ma, you got to understand. I if, do understand. If, if, if somebody... Well, not to compare you to my mother, but I could never see my mother going against me, allowing anyone to call me a black bitch and still continuing to date him. Right. Do you understand what message that sends to your daughter? Yes, I do. Now, I think, personally, I think she's wrong because I don't think racism is right from any direction. I think she's wrong. And also, and, and your father agrees that, you mm -hmm. know, he doesn't agree with interracial was, dating as well, right? I was always right? brought up, and his little saying is, don't bring a white guy home. Mexicans are okay. Japanese will think about. Black people, you have to stay with. That's exactly what he told me. And to this day, I just, I, I see no, I'm not attracted well, see, to white guys and nothing like that. And she... What's the I difference between being attracted to somebody and being anti-someone? It's, it's um, still racism. It, it is. It is. It's and still I, racism, I'm, but I'm you mean, gotta you gotta understand. I, I wouldn't see it as racism because that's just my preference. Well, my, I don't, why I don't do you only want to date white guys? It's not why I only want to date white guys. I see people as human beings, and for some odd reason, whoever I am really attracted to, who I find intellectually, you know, someone I want to be around, they tend to be white. And but then in you the have city some... that I live in, it just that's just the way it works. Then you have some issues with black men and their sexuality yes, or something. Yes, yes. It just um, it's like because you. I mean, you told you our producers you don't that's prefer to date, it. and I'm not, and I don't want that. You I said just, black guys just want sex. That's it. <laughs> I mean, all men. So the white sex. guys don't want sex. All men. Where's a white what? guy in here? <laughs> you look like a white guy. Are you a white guy? Yeah. Yeah. Stand up for me, white guy. <laughs> Show. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you want sex? Yeah. The white guy wants sex! Yeah. Now you're on it! He wants sex! <laughs> He's no different! Maybe that's just a different style towards getting to said sex. Well, it's not that they don't, they don't, they don't want it immediately. <laughs> they can take okay. time to know who you are. Or, yeah, and come on. I've never met one that does that. The history that you have with white guys, if you ever date a white guy, I swear to God, I will not talk to you. I will leave. It's just, it's whatever. You know, we don't have a good relationship in the first place. And then the thing about that is you have to bring somebody in there and you know that I disapprove of it. I'm your child. But, okay? I, I understand what you're saying. But, you know. You know, there's a point where I, I try to just stay by myself until after these kids are, are grown. That's, She's 18. She can leave if she wants to. That's fine. Yeah, but, but, but wait a minute. <laughs> okay. My brother's Judy. Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. She's 18, but don't you have a 16-year-old son? I have a 16-year-old son. So what do you mean you're trying to stay it? away from them until they... I, but, and I haven't brought anybody in since for the last two years. And, I, and after I got divorced, it was seven years before I met this man. So I really have tried to keep it down to, I mean, sometimes you, love makes you think stupid. And I think I just ha hit that point. I don't know. We, this is, this is kind of tricky because I see, it's, to me, it's more of a parenting thing. I disagree with you about the racial aspects of it because if she found a black man that treated her like garbage or spoke to you like you were nothing, you would still have the same issues with them. Yeah. So as I disagree with them, I also disagree with you because there are nice people out there. It doesn't matter what color you are. There are nice people out there. I just, I just, and they're, and they're jerks out there, regardless of what your race is. When we come back, a mother who says her daughter will never meet the man of her dreams if she only dates outside of her race. Stay tuned. <laughs> miss out on her dream man i think she just needs to look on the other side i think she may she needs to stop putting all her eggs in one basket and look around the corner maybe she'll find the right guy so 
I guess that means you haven't found the right guy. <laughs> That's right. Well, you got time. You're 16, girl. Take your time. <laughs> uh, no rush to that. They'll be there. Um, why do you... So you think her dream man is probably... Do you think he is a white man, or you just think no, she's no, limiting uh, herself by... I think she's limiting herself. Uh, she doesn't even look at a white guy. She won't talk to a white guy or, or anybody of the other race. She is exclusive on black guys. Why is that? Because that's what I find attractive. <laughs> I don't find a white guy attractive. At least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that pretty much said it. <laughs> well, I mean, what it... Is it, is but it's it, not all attractive. She's, she needs to look at the other side. The guy does not need to have, be all that attractive to be right for her. Why do you think, what, what do you, because to us right now, it, prob, it just sounds like you look like a black woman sitting up here telling your daughter that she should date white guys. I have a black husband. I'm, I'm just um, telling you this is what it looks like. Now, give, you're, you are of mixed race, right? Yeah, I'm biracial. You're biracial. You have both black and white parents? My father was black. My mom is Caucasian, right? And, and your husband now is black? Yes, he is. But you... Her father was Caucasian. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your husband now is black, but her father is Caucasian. Yes, he Okay, I, I got you. I got you. So you just feel like she should just check out both of her she heritages? She needs to check out both sides, yeah. How do you feel about about what she pushes you towards, you know. Uh, she says that you, you dye your hair black because, you, I mean, like you try to look more black or whatever. Do you feel uncomfortable with your heritage? Um, do you feel uncomfortable? No, it's not that at all. It's just, I feel the only way, the only reason she holds a grudge is because she hasn't, she hasn't ha had many black guys. She's had mostly white guys, so she don't know two guys is gonna, um, how they're gonna treat her. They're not gonna treat me the same way there's a lot more black guys, you know, it ain't, it ain't like that. She thinks, she holds a grudge against black guys because the way the black guys have treated her. That's what I think. That's not true? No. You can talk I, to her. No, she knows. The reason that I have a problem with, with her and the dating that she's doing is because she dates, and I'm sorry, the typical thug, black, no, you know, don't want, don't want to do nothing for themselves, want everybody to do something for them. Um, <laughs> you know, her to her to do for them, and I want more for her. She she deserves okay, more. I understand that, but this you know what you're, you're right. She does deserve more. But hold up, wait, wait, wait. Why do you why why do y'all keep relating drug dealer and thug and, and all that to black? I'm not drug dealers. I'm not saying that drug dealer. Well, you just said I'm, she dates I'm the saying, typical I'm, thug black. What? That is. What and does you know black what? have to do with it? You know what? too it is. I think is that she gets a lot of attention. My daughter's beautiful and. She gets a lot of attention from the black guys. I think black guys are more vocal. Um, they tell you what they want. And she likes that. She loves attention. And I think that if the white guys were to do the exact same thing to her, there'd be no problem. No, do white guys do that too? Do white guys try to talk to you when you, like, brush them off? No, -uh, ain't no white guy ever try to talk oh, yeah. to me. So they don't even try said. to talk to her. Because I would talk to them if they talk to me, but you're not... But I don't find him attractive how I'm, I'm going to talk to him if I don't find him attractive. We but can talk on a friend attractive. level, but like that. It ain't going there. It ain't. Says. Well, if she's not attractive, why are you trying to push her that way? But it's not all attraction. I've been with it many. It's not all attraction. Well, well I've on. been with many a white man, and, and, and I mean, you, I've never picked no bad-looking man, but. Um, so you could actually, you. But what I is, see well, what is it that them. you look for? I look at what Even they, if you look for what's inside, there has to be something in there that attracts you. They've got to be able to do something for me. Huh? They have to be able to do something for me. Okay. They have to be able to, uh, to do for me. I don't want to be given all the time of myself. Okay. I'm just, I, I'm just curious. Oh, I'm sorry. You got a, hey, you got a good comment. Come on over here. Comment. You say your daughter is dating black thug, typical thug black guys. Would you rather her date nice black guys? Because there's a lot of them out there. Why are you pushing her back to the white race? Why don't you say yeah. date some nice black guy? She can date a, what, a nice white guy, I mean, a nice black guy, yes. I want her to get away from the kind of guy that she is drawn to. It's the kind of man. So then if it's, if I'm it's, not saying if, it's, color, if it's, it's more so kind of the guy kind of guy, just with her. What'd you say? Why does it have to be, why do you always have to be a color? Why can't we just be human beings trying to get along? Is this really a, a <laughs> Black, white, 
white, black. It has nothing to do with that. My family is black Puerto Rican and white Puerto Rican. So what do I, people look at me, hey, you're Italian. It doesn't matter. You're a person. <laughs> you know, you're a person. I love you. You love me. It doesn't matter. My boyfriend's half Chinese and black. What do you think that's like? I'm all mixed up. He's all mixed up. It's all about the you know love what? you have. It's true. I don't, I don't even know, you know if you that. guys have seen USA Today cover, uh, uh, like last week, uh, sometime last week, it was a USA Today cover that had all the interracial uh, people listed who, they were saying that this is what the country is going to look like eventually because everybody is, you know, blending. And, and what's wrong with and that? It, well, that's what it was saying. But it was like Cher, Lenny Kravitz. Jennifer Tilly, Jimmy Smith from NYPD Blue. I mean, all these people who you, you probably had no idea that some of them are interracial because they don't look it, you know, but Cher is half American Indian, half white. You know, Lenny's half Jewish, half black. But these are incredible people. So what are we to hate them or dislike them because of, uh, of, of their race? Well, why can't we just know Cher because she sings really well? Why do we have to care about her culture? Well, we race? should. But we live in America, and, you know, the, well, it's this country, country you got to understand. It. Joining us now is psychologist Karen Stark to hopefully help us out here. Now, Karen, what do you think is uh, going on with our guest today? Well, I just want to say something to you, Queen, and that is that you can't stop blending from happening, that it's going on with plants and animals and babies, and that the people like this are really stopping. People who don't allow it are people who are stopping us from a natural process. And this is going to happen no matter what they do. Now, when it comes to this couple over here, I think that um, if Susan wants to date black guys, that really is something you're going to have to let her do whatever she wants. And what's interesting to me, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what's really interesting to me is that you did let it slip, and you said a typical black thug guy. And there could be a typical white thug guy. You know, she had dated a good person. Well, she just said she didn't let it slip. She meant to say that. Pardon me? So you meant to say that. Well, like you said. I did mean to say that because... What do you mean by that? I it? haven't, through the upgrade, when, since I've had Susan and the way we've, our family has come together, um, that has been what I have seen. I haven't, my experience, or maybe my upbringing, has not showed me... That there, that there is that type in a white man. See, I have not I'm, seen I'm that. I'm really no. surprised you because can't be you can't be serious. Come... Are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Are you serious? Really? I haven't seen the, the, I haven't seen the thug tipple. Yeah, no, I haven't. I'm, I'm surprised, Queen. I'm really surprised about that. You know why? Wow. <laughs> she now comes... I know somebody here got something to say about it. <laughs> I'm gonna just step on over. There. Please continue to talk. Sorry, she comes from. Um, parents where I would think that she really has trouble choosing like that because she wants to identify with one of her parents and if she picks black or she picks white she's rejecting the other exactly. so I'm so surprised that you're saying that because how could you say there are no white thugs? No there are. Come there on. Are. But I'm just saying that in, in my experience I have not been around that around that type. I am more, I have been more... But you're upbringing. exposed to the culture. You see it all over the place. You see yeah, people going to jail. You read the newspapers. It's happening all over that. There are white guys that are criminals and yeah, thugs as well as black guys. Yes. And you would get her attention a lot more if you just said to her, why are you dating guys that are not any good? Why don't you just date good, but I do say kind that to her. guys? I do say that to her. You think I do you say that to her. But I wouldn't add the black. I mean, you're going to really turn... Off. That's all she's running into. You're going to turn... You're going to turn her off if you say black. Just say, what, she, why don't you feel good enough happened, about yourself? No, you she's want her, Why enough. do you... But, but you not only want... You want her to change who she wants to date. You want her to look no, more white. No, I didn't white. say I wanted her to change. I said I wanted her to look on the other side. I don't want her to look specifically at one area. Well... I don't want her to limit her possibility. Why shouldn't she? If, if it's I, what she's... I don't think she should. I don't think she should. But it's should not about what you story. want. It's about what she feels. That's absolutely right. It's not about right. what you feel. You think... I mean, there are people who say you shouldn't even exist. There are. There are. So we, we shouldn't care about what they think, right? So why should she have to live strictly by what you feel for her? Like, you want her to have blonde yeah. hair. She has blonde hair naturally, right? The reason and you're against her dyeing her hair. Do you, do you want her to look more white? Is no, that what it is? No, I don't like, I don't like what, the dot, what the black... I personally... She's, she's underage. Mm -hmm. I do not look... I do not like the way... The hard look that she looks right. with black hair. Okay. Um, she looks totally different with, with uh, black hair. I mean, black I can hair. see her with blonde hair. Me, personally. I can see her with that. But, I mean, if, if that's what... 
Do you think that maybe she does no, that because of you? No, I think she does to get attention. I think it brings attention to her. So that's what I'm saying to you. Susan, she's rebelling Susan, why, against why, you. why do you do it? Everybody's speaking for you but you. <laughs> it ain't even like this. I don't like the color of my hair, so I'm going to die. It ain't nothing about looking harder or looking certain ways, because I don't like my hair color. You want to comment for me? Yeah, I think, that, I think that there's a whole lot to be um, fixed in the black community. You know, as far as these women who want to date outside their race, you know, the brothers in the black community, we need to fix our own community. We got everybody coming into our community, opening up businesses, you know what I'm saying? Malcolm X said it 30 years ago that we are entitled and we're supposed to own our own communities before we even go anywhere else. She talks, the psychologist talks about blending. I don't see dogs and cats blending. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about people blending, That's I think species. black men cats and black and women. No, she talks about flowers and this and that. Dogs but I'm and talking dogs about, blend. I'm talking about within different the black community. Dogs, You're talking about white cats. women dating black men. OJ, you know what I'm saying? No, the situation in no the situation idea. in Texas, you know what I'm saying? They dragged the black man by the back of a truck to his death. You know what I'm saying? Black men need to straighten out the black community first. That's what I need to say. So you black, so you white women that were looking to date black men. Let the black men date the black women and strengthen our own that's wrong. community. You that's know so what I'm saying? Wrong. That's all I'm saying. Somebody disagrees with that? It encourages Somebody disagrees with that? Yes. You disagree. You you disagree. We heard we know we, we know you I'm know sorry. You have something to say? Black men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. You better I, straighten out your community oh, you, for that man I, right there beat you. I, up. Sorry, I, I agree you know? with I agree with the cat though, because um it's a lot of problems we gotta resolve within us first. And, and, and as for that comment about us, us um, being the typical thug, you know, this is our culture. When you wear your little preppy suits, we don't sit out here and say, hey, look at them. Man. He's typically this. Are, are. What makes, hold on, hold on, what makes, what makes it any different when I, when, I, when I choose to express myself by wearing jewelry or long braids, baggy pants, or whatever? That doesn't make me a thug. You know, because I wear these things, you know. we, You know, mobsters wear suits every day. Your culture wears suits. Are y'all all mobsters? Do y'all all in my culture. I'm black, too. Yeah, but I'm... Okay, so it's not... You can't be sitting and saying your culture because your culture see, you, is my culture also. You're both sides of but, the but, but, yeah, but see, it's almost... Yeah, it does seem very convenient. But see, you know, until you walk in the shoes of being a mixed person, which I am, or until you walk into the shoes of having a black husband or being black and having a white... Uh, you know, uh, the other, you will never know what it's like to walk in my shoes. You know what, it's going to be very shoes. difficult. It but I'm not trying difficult. to walk in your and shoes. And I'm trying to not make it difficult for my daughter. No, and that way is for her to open her eyes and see around her. Yeah, but, but you're making it difficult for no. your daughter to just be herself. Uh, that's if right. she feels more connected. Now, the girl is two races, okay? She's a part of two different but races. She has experienced both those. R right. No, but you can't force that on her. See, obviously, if you lay down with someone of another color, what, well, what she thinks is another color, then you guys have black and white in you, in other words. Then obviously, you didn't feel that there was such a big wall up there, a big barrier. Now, if she connects with the African-American side of her, or the African side of who she is, if she connects with, with these guys, then obviously, that's something that she feels. So if later on in life, as she gets older, when she becomes her own woman and starts to really be out on her own, and, and grow and mature, you know, she's 16. She, she's not getting married, is she? So like, you know, I mean, you're not trying to get her married yet, right? So just, I mean, maybe you should just back off a little bit, make sure she's safe and protected. But other than that, she's gonna have to discover life on her own. And, and if you keep trying to shove it down her throat, kids tend to either stop talking to you, stop communicating and being honest with you, or going behind your back and doing what they wanna do anyway. Okay, and rebelling. So maybe you got to open up your mind a little more. Okay, now we got to take a break. When we come back, Karen will talk some more with us about Judy and Diamond Story. We'll be right back. do you have for Judy and Donna? Well, you know, I think that Judy did make a mistake with the man that she picked. There's no doubt about it. And what everyone said was true. On the other hand, although Judy says her life feels balanced now, I think that it's really hard with mothers and daughters and mother dating and that Diamond's going to really have to allow her to have some men in her life. They don't have to live in the house and they have to be respectful and they can't say things like that because that's embarrassing to you as well. 
but she needs to have a balanced life. And that would include some dating. I mean, everybody needs love. Of yeah, course. I think so. And why would her children no, you have don't love think and you not, should date? not her? No. She's telling me no. Because, I, because see what happened when I did? You I mean, picked a bad choice, Judy. It's but just, who says the next choice is going to be any better? It's up to you, you Judy. You have to make a better choice. You have to conflicts with your, with your very own parents. Why bring somebody else in and cause more Because conflict? she has to get used to the fact that you could be with other people. If you bring a good guy, I think that she'll learn to accept that. It's always hard for kids at first, but you know what? They manage it, no. or we would never have people with second marriages, no... stepfathers, everybody has stepmothers. People manage to work it out. But all the pressure that they go through to try to make it work out, I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, I just think it's a I mean, waste of time. Right. If, you, if you did bring in the right guy, maybe I would think about well, it being all right. Who defines the right guy? I mean, I like you, somebody, just, you hate him. No, so it's, it's not about, about I don't think it's so much That's about, right guy. We're, all, we're always going to mm -hmm. butt heads about it. I, I, I just feel that it's better that I just be by myself and do things that I need to do until they're out of the house. Well, if that's your, cho that's your choice. If that's what you decide is best, then that'll be what's best. Personally, I just think that you need to make sure that you protect your kids from anyone. Yeah. Anyone, but even afterwards, even but afterwards, do you don't want somebody that's calling your daughter by those names. Even in the heat of an argument, she's a child and he was an adult. Let's, let's get off the race for a minute. Let's get on parent and child, adult and child. Now, we think we know everything at 16 and 15, but we don't. You know, and sometimes we do have to be checked. We have to be put in the place of a child by an adult. But when an adult comes down to a child's level, it makes no sense. It's, it's total chaos. And you can't allow that. You have to be strong and, and stand up for what you know is right. So, um, are you, are you a little open now about what you think we might happen here? No, you still yeah, want to... No, 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 I am open. I mean, I do you understand been open. what your mom is saying? No. Do you, do you get it? Because I don't, I don't agree in that. That's, she, that's her. That's not me. She, got, she, she has a right to her own opinion, but that don't mean... Um, I'm gonna do what she say. I'm gonna be 18 soon. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Two years, babe. Sorry. That don't mean nothing. That don't not mean nothing. See, that's that's what I'm saying. We don't. You don't need to walk away. Like I'm gonna do what I want anyway. And that's what I'm saying by by pushing things down people's throat. They just start to reject, reject, reject. Am I? Am I? I mean, you're yeah, a doctor on this. You, you see it all the time. It happens all the time. That the more that a mother feels a certain way, the more the girl, the daughter, the son will do just the opposite. And they say, how come? I don't understand it. Has she ever it. brought home a guy that you like? Yes. But no, that's not it, Latifah. It's, um, well, what is it? She then? won't, I'm not even talking dating, okay? She won't communicate with a white man, with a white young guy. What do you mean communicate She won't with talk. Him? If somebody has any time to talk with her, it ain't, uh, typical. it ain't nothing to do with white or black. I'm just not attracted to him. How, you know, it ain't me. No. Why is it lying? so important to you? Why is it so I'm, important to you? <laughs> I guess because, because I want, I, I don't know, I just want her to talk to other people. Maybe that's what you should think about, why it's so important to you. Exactly. I mean, she seems fine. She's happy. She has no answer for that.